That what you're saying? Extra ten percent off, which is brilliant. I don't know. I don't know whether they've swapped trucks today, uh, Dave. Uh, Lisa was in the leading truck yesterday, and Alex was in the uh, the one following on there. It's great to see them both, though. Really. And then we'll do some autographs in the arena uh, for a few people. And, uh, if you don't manage to get an autograph signed across here, the main place to get signed is across at the Ice Road Trucker Stand. It's just directly across in that direction. So, two fantastic trucks. There's a wonderful collection of uh, American trucks here. We really are blessed this weekend with uh, with the quality of uh, the American trucks that we've got here. These are just uh, these are absolutely amazing. And you know, if you go over onto the sand and have a close look, under the hoods and inside, it's just absolutely amazing. Fantastic Kenwood, really is. And uh, Lisa's in this one, so we'll cut the engines and we'll have a word. Oh. As she steps out of the truck, give her a big wave and a round of applause, Lita Kelly! Lita, step forward this way. How are you today? Did you have a good night? You're tired today. I, I have to tell you that I don't know anybody that does as many miles as Lisa does. I went and picked them both up from the airport on uh, Wednesday night. And I won't tell you where Lisa was previously. She was she came from Alaska, but she'd been somewhere else filming for Deadliest Rose, haven't you, Lisa? Yeah, I've been home for three days this year. So you got to feed the animals, did you? Kinda. <laughs> tell us what you have at home, animal-wise. I have two cats and two horses and soon to be dogs. Fantastic. And you're up you're actually up for a gypsy horse, aren't you? Oh I love gypsies. <laughs> So, uh, if anybody's seen the black and white horses, she's actually after one of those. We, we passed some in the field, and, uh, and you wanted to stop straight away, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you also like dirt biking as well, don't you? Yeah, I'm trying to get those guys to let me jump a little bit. Well, there was talk about you going on the um, Wall of Death. Uh, I think that's probably a bit adventurous, but you're probably going to go. I'm game. Did you enjoy seeing everybody yesterday? Yes, I did. And they're all going back, aren't they? You and Alex, they all watch the programme and it's uh, it's a fantastic programme, isn't it? Uh, sure. So, what have, you got, what have you got planned ahead this year? I know you're coming to two more of the track fest. I've got so much planned, I don't even know. I just know it's like seven countries this year or something. <laughs> and are you going to do the ice road in the winter time again? I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to see what's hap what happens on that one. But of course, somebody, somebody in the audience, one of the truck fests, is going to get the chance to go on the, the ice road. What can they expect when they get there? Um, lots of cold and um, long, long hours in a truck. But it's stunning scenery, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful in the world. Lisa, thank you for coming. I know you're going to have a great day today. As I said to you, the best place to catch up with Lisa and get an autograph and a photograph is on the Ice Road Trucker Stand. I'll let Dave have a word with Alex now. Film crew, and it depends what happens every day when you're driving, whether you go to the pavement or whether you're back. And of course, different things happen. It's just a matter of what the uh, film crew is there to catch you. A lot of times I miss a lot of stuff because we aren't watching, but uh, you miss it. You don't really go back and try to run that same animal over twice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I mean, when, you, when you're driving actually over the ice, you can't hear it crack, can you? Oh, yes, you roll down the window. Some people just play their music real loud, keep the windows up, but uh, right off, you just roll down the window and listen to it crack. It's a good thing, usually. That time's a winter. If we have a bad winter, you might get a week or two of that. Especially in getting a crosswind, the wind is hitting you right in the driver's door. Quite often, it'll come through the door and you'll know, have to drive, depending on how old the truck is on driving. Get your sleeping bag out and cover your legs just so you don't have to freeze to death in the cab. So, are these just standard road going trucks that we would see in the rest of the world or are they modified? Well, generally they're pretty well the same. 
depending where the job is, some places we have tarps covering the radiator all the way back under the engines of the transmission. For no other reason than other stuff here in the arena. And as I said, don't be disappointed because you can catch up with them all day across on the ice road. That's it. Give them a big round of applause and give them away. And we'll get them back in the trucks. Hang on. Thanks, Lisa. Alright, we're going to go. So if you do want to go, over there. Off you go, Alex. <laughs> you forgot how you spelled your name then. I'll treasure that forever. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> so as they go out to the arena, they'll be doing a circuit. Give them a wave and say hi. You should be able to get a nice shot as well of them in the trucks. A beautiful trucks as well, a Kenworth and a Peterbilt. And uh, they're fantastic show trucks. So they're going to do a lap of the arena and give them a wave on the way out. The Ice Road Truckers. <laughs> There's an outpost like no other, and it sits at the end of a 350 mile truckless journey. shooting into the sun.
Someone's got a horn, haven't they? Lads, anyone want, want to make a contribution? Yeah, That's some research. Yeah. This is going to end up going fine. They're a bit big, aren't